out of network benefits as an acupuncturist because um, I'm an out of network provider for many different insurances and so I can bill for, for acupuncture but the person has to have acupuncture benefits obviously and some people don't and, and some insurances are problematic because the deductible is so high so if you have a basically healthy person that's just coming for a checkup or a tune up or something like that then if they have a $6,000 deductible then basically they can't use their insurance because they'll never meet that deductible. But yes, in, in, in licensed states, you can use insurance. Yeah, any, any other questions about neutropathy? Okay, um, I want to make a couple more recommendations before we go into oriental medicine. Okay, so last time that I taught this class, we talked a little bit about um, naturopathic cancer care. So I want to give you a couple of resources, and I hope you never have to use them. <laughs> I hope you never have a friend or a family member that has cancer. But um, these are some things that you might want to write down just, just in case.
intestinal parasites. So this doctor discovered that people who had cancer had weakened immune systems. The immune system could be weakened because of your um, dental, you know, having mercury in your mouth. The mercury, even though it's just a filling, a cap on your tooth, it emits vapors into your gums and it suppresses the immune system. Your immune system is your body's defenses. So it's what allows your body to fight off any disease. So if your immune system is tied up trying to fight this never ending war in your mouth that it will never get over, then when cancer happens, it cannot win the cancer. But basically, all of us have cancer going on in our bodies all the time. Just our immune systems are so strong that it gets rid of it before we even have a, a, a symptom. So um, strengthening the immune system. So parasites can also um, weaken the immune system. And we can get parasites from, from eating sushi, raw food. You know, if you go to a barbecue and the meat's been sitting there for a couple hours in the sun, you know, you can get uh, bacteria in potato salad or anytime you go to a restaurant, you don't know what's going on in the kitchen. You don't know how long the food's been sitting there. You know, you don't know how fresh it is. So a lot of bacteria and parasites can be, <laughs> can be transferred <laughs> that we eat. So, so the zapper is, is a treatment to kill intestinal parasites. Um, of course, he ate all organic foods and vegetables. He became vegan. I think he was already vegetarian. Um, he might have been eating fish. He, he already was in great shape. He exercised. And then part of the protocol is um, a three-week regimen of taking about 200 capsules a day of different nutrients, mega doses of vitamins and herbs and different things that are anti-cancer, natural things. But it was only for three weeks. And then um, when he went back for his second CT scan, you know, to, to check his body for cancer, he had, and that was only five months later, he had no cancer. And his doctors called it, you know, spontaneous remission because they couldn't, you know, acknowledge when he did something like uh, holistically that basically like beat all of the statistics. And, uh, you know, they couldn't do that for him uh, with conventional medicine. So he's back, you know, doing, he's, he's a stockbroker, he's back in the work, and he's been cancer free for five, six years now. And in the meantime, he, whenever somebody, like a friend or family member that has developed cancer, he kind of like walks them through the same process that he did. And, he, and he's helped over the last um, few years, like half a dozen people with different kinds of cancers also become cancer free. So um, if you go to my blog, I actually interview him. And he, there's like a series of 10 questions and answers. And you can also use my blog as a resource and so MIVASO is an acronym that I came up with for my, my practice, which stands for Mind, Body, and Soul. So that's that. And now I want to go into a little bit of the lab testing that, that naturopaths do. So this is information about heavy metal testing. As I mentioned before, heavy metals can, such as mercury in the mouth, it can also be lead from water because it goes up the pipes that are lead. It could be um, aluminum from like aluminum foil, there's aluminum and deodorant. It could be um, arsenic. We're, we're, we're exposed to different you know, environmental factors. There's lead in paint, there's lead in some toys, the children put the toys in their mouth, etc. So um, heavy metals are around us. They're in and we're exposed to them. So it's good to do this. This is a urine test that you do at home. And it gets sent to the lab, and then I get the results. And we create a treatment plan based on your levels. These are just a few of the signs and symptoms that could happen when a person has heavy metal toxicity. We have muscle pain. Oh, I've had about half a dozen patients with fibromyalgia who suffered for many years. And fibromyalgia is basically a diagnosis of elimination. Basically, the doctor tested you for everything else. You get to a rheumatologist, neurologist, you know, family practitioner. They can't find anything wrong with you. So they give you this label that you have fibromyalgia. You have all this muscle pain. You have trigger points that are very sore, very tender to the touch. Um, basically, a lot of people who have fibromyalgia have heavy metal toxicity. 
once you get rid of those heavy metals, they feel so much better, like night, night and day. So muscle pain, joint pain, fatigue, anxiety, depression, insomnia, allergies, memory and concentration problems, visual problems, water retention, loss of libido, digestive disorders, cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, autoimmune disorders, and more. So the reason why you can have so many different kinds of symptoms is because, as I said, it weakens your immune system, and then the person will manifest whatever conditions are in their family, whatever they have the genetic predispositions for, or whatever they have maybe the environmental factors or the, the lifestyle factors they have. So basically what, what a person does is I, I give them a dose of something called DMSA, which is a chelation agent, which is something that binds the heavy metals and it excretes them through the urine. Because what happens is the heavy metals live inside our cells. So if you don't take the binder, you, you get an, a, a, a false negative, so to speak, because what's in the blood is not what's in the cells. We need to pull it out of the cells, then it goes through the blood, gets filtered through the kidneys, and comes out through the urine. So once we give the provocation of the DMSA, we test the urine, it's an eight, we test it eight hours later, and then you can see the levels, and it comes back. I'll show you what the test results look like. This is a test that I did on myself. But um, test results look like, you can see there's about 20 different heavy metals, from aluminum to uranium. Um, most people that I see are high in the same ones that I was in the yellow, which is lead and mercury. But I've seen different people with different exposures. Like, for example, I have a young man who works at a shooting range. So he's exposed to different, like from the gunpowder, you know, um, different things are elevated on him. So if somebody's like in the red, then you need to do more rounds of the chelation. If somebody's in the yellow, you need to do less rounds of the chelation. And the chelation is done, um, if you can do intravenous chelation with a medical doctor or an osteopathic doctor, it's very expensive. It usually costs around $300 each time, and around the therapy of treatment is like 10 treatments, so $3,000 and if your insurance doesn't cover it, it's quite expensive. But the oral chelation only costs about $120 a month, and how it's taken is two capsules a day, three times a day on empty stomach for three days, and then you stop for 11 days, give your, give your body a chance to flush it out, then you repeat the cycle, then you can retest and see what your levels are. So so this is something that, that is good to do in order to have and the other thing that I, I also offer is saliva testing for like thyroid problems, any hormonal imbalances for women who have menstrual disorders or men menopause or infertility. Um, saliva testing is really good. It gives us a better picture than the blood because the blood is basically gives us like a snapshot of where, what your numbers were at that moment when you had the test. But the saliva test is done over 24 hours and then we also have some that are done over a month. And so give us a better picture of what's going on in the body of, over a long period of time and not just at that moment when you take the test. Um, you know, we do stool test kits, which test for parasites. Candida is a huge problem that a lot of people have and they don't realize it. Um, you can do like a candida questionnaire because it can, it can also manifest as fatigue, irritable bowel, um, constipation, um, you know, flatulence, belching, different manifestations for different people. Um, candida arises because of, of excessive antibiotic use. Candida is a yeast problem, um, but it's normal and natural to have candida in our gut, but what happens is when we take antibiotics, it kills the good bacteria as well as the bad bacteria, then you get an overgrowth of the candida, and, and that can cause problems. It can even cause memory and concentration problems or mental fogginess. So balancing the gut flora is important. Taking probiotics in that case is important. So we can also do like testing for candida and ova, which are the eggs of the yeast in the stool to see you know, what's going on with somebody. Um, and then there's, an, there's another test, which is for amino acids and neurotransmitters, which basically gives us a picture of the person's biochemistry of their brain and their body. So it, again, the example, it could be any illness, like going to depression because it's so common, it's so prevalent in society. But there's autism.